no, I haven't taken a test. Why the hell would I take a test? Come on, man. That's like saying you, before you got in this program, you take a test where you're taking cocaine or not. What do you think, huh? Are, are you a junkie? What do you and by the way, as I joke with them, you know, it, I, I shouldn't say it. I'm going to say something I don't, I, I probably shouldn't say. I am very willing to let the American public judge my physical and mental fil my physical as well as my mental fitness. With all the work that the media puts into defending or otherwise covering up Joe Biden's gaffes, you would think that they're getting paid as part of his campaign staff. Back on Tuesday, Joe Biden was interviewing with a black CBS reporter who asked him straight up, have you had any cognitive tests? Joe Biden doesn't like this because this is a slightly scrutinizing question and Joe Biden's not used to that. In fact, if you go back and look, anytime Joe Biden gets a even slightly critical question, he lashes out at the reporter. But you, on the other hand, sent your son over there to get a job and work for a gas company that he had no experience with gas or nothing. So you You're got a to damn liar, man. You're kidding me. Whoa. Sir, how's Republicans uh, want your son Hunter? Are you joking? No. I was a Democratic caucus. You ever been to a caucus? No, you haven't. You're a lying dog-faced pony soldier. You said you were, but you're, you're, now you got to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you. Mr. Vice President, how many times have you ever spoken to your son about his overseas business dealings? I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. Ask the right question. Mr. Biden, why, why attack Sanders? Why, 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 you're getting nervous, man. Just calm down. It's okay. In this case, he was asked about taking a cognitive test, to which he responded to this black reporter, have you taken a test for cocaine? Are you a junkie? Now, what Biden said was stupid. I don't know if it was racist, but I do know that if Trump had said that, it would definitely be racist and the media would be united in condemning him. Instead, what we see is the media scrambling to either cover it up or to spin it as though he wasn't talking about the interviewing. No, no, he was talking about Trump, even though there's nothing indicating that at all in the this interview. Before we get to the media response to this, I just kind of want to go over the fact that Joe Biden is constantly, constantly apologizing for these racist comments. And they go back decades. He's been doing this a long time, long before Trump ever came onto the political scene. Yet it never seems to result in a Biden is a racist narrative from the media. Despite the fact that not only has Joe Biden said these pretty blatantly, obviously racist comments, but he actually took part in US government policy against black Americans. Some examples of this are like when he called state mandated school integration, the most racist concept you can come up with. When he was describing Barack Obama, he described him as the quote, first sort of mainstream African American who is articulate, bright, and clean. I mean, <laughs> Are black people not articulate and clean? I, I don't understand what exactly he was trying to convey in that statement. Do you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump? and you ain't black. But I do know if Trump said something like that, it would be the end of the world. Some other examples of the fact that Joe Biden was involved in actual racist policy are when he was a staunch opponent of forced busing, which would have taken minority students and put them into white neighborhoods and white schools. In the 80s and 90s, Joe led the crusade for mass incarceration and described African-American felons as predators who were too sociopathic to rehabilitate. And let's not forget that he was a close friend with Robert Byrd, who was an actual right supremacist and leader of the KKK. And that wasn't even just Joe Biden. That was like the Democrat party and their media as well. When Robert Burton died, they all just showered the guy with praise. So after Joe Biden made this junkie comment in response to a slightly scrutinizing question, the network news media, meaning the broadcast news media that most Americans see, all circled their wagons and began spinning the story, if not covering it up, claiming that he actually was talking about Trump, not the interviewer. And they did this by literally just editing out the interviewer's question and just playing Joe Biden's response. Your opponent in this election, President Trump, has made your mental state a campaign topic. And when asked in June if you'd been tested um, for cognitive decline, you've responded that you're constantly tested in, in, F, in effect because you're in situations like this on the campaign trail. But please clarify specifically, have you taken a cognitive no, test? No, I haven't taken a test. Why the hell would I take a test? Come on, man. Biden today also brushed off questions raised by Mr. Trump about his mental fitness, telling black and Latino journalists, including CBS's Errol Barnett, that he's never taken a cognitive test. No, I haven't taken a test. Why the hell would I take a test? 
Come on, man. That's like saying you, before you got in this program, you take a test where you're taking cocaine or not. What do you think, huh? Are, are you a junkie? What do you say? Why would they do that? Obviously because removing the context makes it easier to spin. So you see how CBS played that narration over top of the interviewer's question. They did that on purpose. They did it to remove that context so that the reporter who's hosting that segment, Ed O'Keefe, could then dismiss the comments saying that, quote, he was brushing off questions raised by Mr. Trump about his mental fitness. You see, they just deflected from what Biden said by somehow attributing it to something that Trump did. But unfortunately for Mr. O'Keefe, that's not what happened. The CBS interviewer asked him straight up, have you taken a cognitive test? Hilariously, this same CBS reporter is the exact same guy who Joe Biden told to, quote, calm down when he was asking him slightly critical questions. Why, why attack Sanders? Why, 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 Nervous, man. Just calm down. It's okay. It would appear that O'Keefe got the message and is now complying. Other networks were spinning wildly, characterizing it as, quote, Biden hitting back against the reporter. Which is weird, because anytime Trump comes back and hits back at the media, they claim that that's an attack on democracy, that it's going to get journalists killed. The DNC chair, Tom Perez, actually said that the reporter was asking stupid questions, but prefaced it with, get this, with all due respect. Yeah, with all due respect, Mr. Reporter, me, a politician, is telling you that the questions you came up with are stupid. Another hilarious example of this slavish mouthpiece behavior from members of the media came from the Washington Post fact checker, editor, and chief writer, Glenn Kessler, who jumped at the chance to lie in defense of Joe Biden after he claimed African Americans aren't as diverse as Latinos, saying that you shouldn't believe your lying eyes and ears because he didn't actually say that. Unfortunately for Mr. Kessler, Joe Biden didn't play along and actually apologize, admitting guilt for his comments. So what we're witnessing here is just the continued decay of what was formerly our fourth estate, what we used to call the free press but is now just the political propaganda arm of the Democrat party. We need to make sure that people understand what they're witnessing here is nefarious because if Democrats get power, who's going to be out there to hold them accountable? Clearly not these news organizations who are just an extension of the Joe Biden campaign. If you want to support me in that mission, please hit that like button, share this video and subscribe. If you want to donate to the channel, you can do so by supporting this channel sponsors or donating on one of the platforms listed in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching, have a great weekend, and keep coming back.